Hi, this is Stacy Chalemi, and right now we're going live. I wanted to talk today about self-love, something that's really important. Now, is there anyone out there right now that's going through some issues with self-love? You know, a lot of times when we go through life, we go through traumatic events in our life, you know, or we're just so busy. We're worrying about other people in our lives, and we're we're either moms that are just stressing out, trying to constantly run errands when the kids aren't home and they're in school. They're running all over the place, or when the kid, or if they have children at home, they're always running around after them. Or people in general, they just have you know, they're always worrying about people around them, and they're never really worrying enough about themselves. Hey Lydia, hey Dawn, how's it going? And I just, you know, today I thought it was such an important uh, topic to talk about because so many people worry about so many other things in life and also they've had traumatic events that went on in their life. Maybe they came from a dysfunctional family or something during their lifetime really caused some trauma in their life. And they just don't know how to love themselves. They don't know how to actually take time out for themselves and actually feel the, the, ha, ha, feel good enough that they deserve to take time to love themselves. And my question, I always ask people, well, if you can't love yourself, then how can you love others? Is there anyone out there that wants to give a shout out? Maybe someone that goes through the same thing that has, you know, issues about, you know, um, having a hard time. They just don't have time in the day to really focus on themselves or they just they just don't know how. They've been through so much shit in their life that they just don't know how to really put out the love. You know, they just have a lot of anger or a lot of uh, a lot of resentment in their life or they're just going through so much in life that they just don't know how to love each other. They just don't know how to love themselves. And I'm here to tell you that in order to love yourself, you really need to learn to accept who you are as a person. And do you accept yourself for who you are? Are you happy with the person you, you see in front of you? Do you feel worthy of being loved? Everyone needs to be loved. And the first, in order to love others, we need to love ourselves. And, you know, the simplest things in life, you know, can bring joy to us. If you take some time out in the morning and you just take some time out to actually listen to some music for a couple hours and just feel the moment, bring yourself down to earth and focus on just you doing the things that you love and that you really want to, uh, you know, that, that really make you happy as a person. Because we get so stressed in life and we get so much anxiety in our lives through the everyday activities that we go through in life that we just don't know how to love ourselves. We don't know how, you know, we're like, well, I don't have time to take out time for myself. I don't have time to get, take 15 minutes out for myself or a half an hour or, you know, just to give time just for me. Hey, how's it going? Travel in the wind. I like that name. That's very cool. So everybody, you know, if you, if you, do you take time out for yourselves? I want to hear people out there. You know, I want to hear what you have to say. Do you take time out to actually love yourself? Do you give yourself time in the day to actually do the things that you really love to do? Because so many people just don't know how to take time for themselves. And one of the things I always tell people is just, you know, either take 15 minutes in the morning to meditate, relax, do your thing, you know, go in a room that's very quiet, close your eyes, you know, take a deep breath, breath in, a deep breath out, you know, and focus on you. Focus on what brings joy in your life. Focus on the things that make you happy. Oh, hey Rob, how's it going? So I see the question. You said, sometimes I feel like there is not enough time in the day for that. Well, you know what? Like we mentioned earlier, Rob, if you don't know how to love yourself, how are you gonna be able to love others? You know, sometimes we have to just take priorities in our life and we have to know when to say no. You know, so many people want so much out of us, you know, we have, we have business workers that want projects done or we have got to go to work and we have to do this and we have to do that. Well, you know, sometimes we have to look at the priorities in our life and say, what comes first? You should be the one that comes first. 
How about getting up 15 minutes earlier in the morning just to take do something that you like to do, whether it be exercise, whether it be meditation, whether it be taking a walk around the block or, you know, a walk in your neighborhood, you know, do something that brings serenity, some peace, or even go in the backyard. Oh, Rob says, if I don't do that, if I don't do that for myself, I think my wife is going to ignore me, paying attention to, pay, not paying attention to her. What should I do? Well, if your wife loves you, she's going to understand that you need time too. Because how can you actually give your wife time and give your wife the love she needs when you can't even love yourself? You know, self-love is, is not selfish. You know, it's about accepting who you are and loving yourself for it. Do you accept yourself, Rob, who, who you are? Do you love yourself? You know, you have to really think about these things. Look from a, from a positive perspective. If I give myself time each day just to do something that's going to make me feel better as a person, I'm going to be in a better mood. I'm going to feel good about myself. If I can feel good about myself and like who I am as a person, then obviously you're going to treat your wife different. Because if you are stressing out and you're trying to do everything for everybody else, and you're not in, you know, you're not going to be in a good place with yourself. You're not going to be thinking in, in a positive aspect. You're not going to be feeling good. Your moods probably are going to be a little off. And then you're going to find yourself, I bet you, you jump at your wife a lot. Or maybe you snap at her here and there. Because you're not giving enough of time for you to do the things that you want and the things that you love. You know, and don't be one of those people who say, well, there's nothing good in my life. Because I guarantee you there are many things in in your life, you know, that are probably better than mine. Well, don't compare yourself to others either. You know, I find a lot of people always compare themselves to others. They look at the person next to them. They look at their friends. They look at other family members. They look at the people at work and they're like, wow, they have this, they have that. You know, they're, they're further up than I am. I do all this work. And then you keep focusing on trying to get where you see other people are that you want to be at. Well, you know what? Don't do that to yourself. Focus on what you need to do for you, you know, because you're at a different level than other people. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You don't know where those people are at and you can't compare yourself to those people. You know, what you have to focus on is you. You are the number one priority in your life and you have to take control of your life and do what's best for you. Because once you start doing what's best for you, Rob, you're gonna be able to actually focus on the people around you that you love and be able to actually do the things that you need to do to help others. And like I said earlier, don't be afraid to say no. If life is getting overwhelming and you can't do all these different things for all these people, you know, say, you know what, I'd love to help you. I'd love to get that done for you. But right now I need to focus on me because you are the person that matters. How you feel about yourself and how you feel about the, you know, the, the love you feel for yourself is going to shine through. Have you ever been outside or in a mall or you're walking and you see these people with these miserable faces on? It's because they're not happy. They're not, they don't love themselves. And you know what? The best thing to do is focus on your strengths. Look at the positive strengths in your life and utilize them. Make yourself a better person. Hey, Al, how's it going? Hey, nice to have you on. It's always great to have my followers follow me. Love you guys. If you guys have questions, give me a shout out. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to know what what problems you go through. Is there is there is do you give yourself enough of self love? And if you do, I want to know how you do it. And if you don't give yourself enough self love, what are the struggles that you're going through? Why aren't you taking time out to love yourself? Because loving yourself is so important. Because you, if if you're stressed. I had mentioned this many times in, in a lot of my talks, 70% of illnesses are caused by stress. But if you learn to love yourself and take care of yourself, you're decreasing that stress. You're making yourself feel better as a person. You're actually even increasing your patience. And you'll be able to be more patient with people, more loving to people, more kind to people, because you'll be able to actually feel better about yourself. And when you're feeling good, your mood is, and your clarity is at a different level than others. And you could actually, you know, a, a mentor of mine, an actual coach of mine has said to me, he said, you know, that one of the biggest things that we do is that 
besides not giving ourselves enough self-love, we don't always listen to what our body wants us to do and what our mind wants us to do. We know what we need for, to do for ourselves. It's just getting out there and doing it, you know, and we really need to focus on being, doing the things that are going to bring joy to us. And then, you know, just taking that little time out in the morning, you know, make a list of the things you got to do and then make the top three things you got to do. And then on the top of them, it's take 15 minutes to do something for you. Even if you're going to go into the bathtub and just soak and maybe put some Epsom salts. Dr. Teal is great. Oh my God, I love that. Dr. Teal, he's awesome. I usually use one of his soothing essential oil, um, Epsom salts. I put it in a bathtub, close my eyes for 15 minutes. I just relax. I get out of that bathtub. I feel like a different person. I go out there. I have a different mentality. I, and then I go and I have my cup of tea and I do my stuff to do my stuff and I start to look around and see the things that you know that I don't always are it or have so much gratitude for and I say you know what I'm a lucky person and I feel good about myself because I just did something for me and I go out there in the world and I start doing things for others because I'm in a better better place because I'm thinking about I took time out for myself and now I feel like a better person and you know i also tell people have tremendous pride in yourself you know don't you know so many people have suffer from low self-esteem they don't feel good about themselves well you should feel good about yourself have pride in the person you are look at all the accomplishments that you've done over the course of the years and if you can't think of them off the top of your head take a piece of paper and every little thing that you've accomplished in life write them down and you're going to find that you have done a lot in life and have tremendous pride and have the, the the and to be able to change and strengthen you have to accept yourself for who you are and learn how to live with yourself you need to look at yourself positively in a positive aspect and not look at the negative things and if there's anyone in your life pulling you down well then you need to take time out and think about okay who in my life is pulling me down and not making me feel that, like a good person not making me feel that I'm worthy and maybe you need it's time to separate yourself a little from those people and look for those people in life that bring you positivity and joy the people that you know when you fall back they're going to catch you because these people are the people who care these people are the people who want to see you succeed and these people are the ones who are going to encourage you to take time out for yourself because it's all about loving yourself that's the first step to success in life Hey, I, hi FM, how you doing? It's great to have you. Vanilla, I love you guys. You're great. You come on all the time. Hey X, how's it going? Oh, I love these people. You know, it's just you have to really focus on being doing things for you. And in conclusion, let's let's just really think about it. To take care of your summer that yourself, you really need to to be more confident in yourself. You need to be confident in who you are as a person. You need to love yourself and you need to be happy with the person you are. And if you see that there are certain things in your life that are just slacking and you're not exactly where you want to be, then take some time out to maybe create some short-term goals and some long-term goals and to improve your self-esteem and improve your self-worth. You know, I like to use a journal. I actually, I have a journal that I even created for myself. You don't have to do this. I sell this on, on Amazon and it's called the Positivity and Gratitude Journal. But you can easily go into any store and you can buy a notebook and you can actually just start writing short-term goals down on one page and long-term goals. And every time you do a little something that's going to help you be better as a person, give yourself a pat on the back. And, be, and, and by accomplishing those short-term and long-term goals, you just took some time out in the day to give yourself self-love. Think about it. You want to be a better person. You want to be able to learn how to love yourself. You just took time out to make yourself a better person and you are headed in the right direction. Let's rise above the chaos. Let's learn how to gain the courage and to feel good about ourselves so we can move forward in life and be the person that you want to be. Because that's what it matters. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you become the better person that you were meant to be. Because in life, everyone deserves to be happy. We all deserve to have a happy, healthy, 
and productive life. Hey, HR, how you doing? Hey, FM, how's it going? You know, it's, you know, I want to hear what you guys have to say. If anyone has a shout out or a question, you know, or even if you're, if you don't want to say it publicly, you know, DM me. I'm always here. You can get me on Facebook. You can get me on Instagram. You can get me on my website, um, coachstacychilemi.com. And you, you can ask me questions about lots of different topics. But self-love is so important. It's basically, we need to love ourselves more deeply than we ever did before. Life is, is getting stressful by the minute. More things are occurring. We need to really learn how to love ourselves, strengthen ourselves, have tremendous pride in ourselves. And it all goes down to taking time out in your life to do the things you love. Taking care of you is your first priority. And don't forget that. And don't feel like you're doing, you're being selfish. Don't feel like you're being a bad person for do, taking time out for you because you can't help others unless you help yourself. And with that today, I hope I've left you with some really positive impact. Guys, I want, to, you, I want you guys to give me your questions too because I really want to hear what you have to say. And I, I, love, I love hearing what others, you know, because I, I want to be able to answer your questions and help you be a better person because we all deserve to live the life that we, our, our, our ideal life, the life that we've always wanted to live. The person, we want to become the person that we've always wanted to be. And all, all starts with some little self-love. Give yourself a little self-love today. Take some time out, sometime during the day, and do something you love, whether it means going to Starbucks and getting your favorite drink, or walking around the block, anything. Do something for you today because you deserve it. And with that said, have a great day. Thank you so much. Oh, and you know what? Before I go, I just want to mention one thing. It just came to my mind. I am actually giving away Empower Yourself, my book on how to overcome any condition in your life, whether it be stress, anxiety, an illness, anything in life that you're going through. This is a step-by-step -step book to teach you how to overcome your obstacles. And you can find this book on coachstacychilemi.com slash free book. And I am giving this book out to anybody who needs it and anybody who wants it. Anybody who's looking, looking to, to actually learn how to, self, to give themselves self-love, it talks about it in this book in, in depth. So take some time out to visit my website and get this free book, Empower Yourself, because it's going to help you. And I want to see you help yourself because I care about you. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon.